Hey, what's up, guys? So we're back with some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now, as you know, they have just updated the game and released the Dynasty faction, but they've also put in some more hidden weapon unit things that we found before. So we're going to be on the hunt for them in this video. So don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and let's get on with it. So, first of all, we're going to take a quick look at the roadmap because it's been updated. So, coming next month is Unit Possession, which I absolutely can't wait for. It's going to be awesome to take control of some of the uh, characters. It's going to be crazy. Definitely looking forward to that. Uh, is there anything new in here? Factions? Nope, they've just updated it slightly. They've just taken out the Dynasty faction. Nothing new in maps. And nothing new in features. So, let's go hunting for the weapons then, I guess. So, the last ones we found were in Medieval 1, Medieval 2, and Ancient 1. So, I don't think they're likely to put them back into those three. But, I have absolutely no idea what the characters are. So, I don't even know where to start looking. So, we're just going to go through the list, starting with Tribal 1. But, I'm not going to force you guys to watch me grabbing them all. So, I'll see you when I find one. I finally found my first one, which I'm really excited about. And this one is in Farmer 1. And I almost picked it up because you have to get really close to even be able to see it. But it's in Farmer 1. So, this is where it starts you. So, if you press F and then you go down to this tree bush thing down here. And there's this little red dragon inside. Is it a dragon or a snake or a f I don't even know what that's supposed to be. But it started glowing as soon as I got near it. And it absolutely terrified me that I was going to pick it up. So, I guess this is where we pick it up. Right, let's go up to it. Oh, okay, I didn't realise that it blinks. You're a little bit scary, mate. Look at you, look at you blink. What have we got? Wheelbarrow dragons. Okay, that just sounds absolutely awesome. So, obviously, we've seen the, the wheelbarrows before. And, obviously, there's people running around in the wheelbarrow with throwing things. But we've also seen that the dragons breathe fire. So, that sounds really fun to you. So, I can't wait to try that out later on in this video. That seems fun. But, first of all, I need to find all the other ones. So, let's go look for some more. Right, so, I've been checking around Ancient 2. And I have found the secret weapon on this one. And I'm really glad that I found it when I did. Because I really didn't want to have to check all of that. And luckily, I was able to stay far enough away. But it is down here. It is that sword down there. We're not going to get too close just yet. Just so you can remember where it is. So you start looking down like that. So you press F. And then all you have to do is fly towards the centre there. And then just go over to this bit here. And let's go pick it up and see what we've got this time. Oh, the teacher. Nice. Okay, so I'm a, I'm guessing he's probably going to be quite quick with his sword then. That's what I'd assume, because obviously he doesn't have any armour, he doesn't have anything. So I can't imagine him being that fun. But I'm guessing if he's quick with the sword, it could get interesting. So that will also be an awesome one to test out. But I'm guessing there's one more that I need to find. So we're going to keep looking. And then we're going to test all of these out. So, let's go find it. Right, so I'm finally at the end of all the sandbox maps. And as I thought, we've only found two of them. So, we're in Dynasty. And I was searching all around it. And then I thought to myself, what's actually through this hole? So, I went down through it. And then I looked back up. And I saw that. And I'm assuming that that might be it. So, if we go a bit closer... Does it start glowing? Yes, it does. So if I press F quickly, all you have to do is from here, press F and then fly down through the hole. Down we go. And then look back up. And there it is. So let's see what we've got this time. Samurai Giant. Wow, they finally put in the giant units. That's awesome. But in the startup menu, I actually saw one of the new units, I'm guessing, because they show obviously the units attacking in the startup menu. 
and one of the units I saw was it looked like an abominable snowman so I thought that that might be one of them to grab now I haven't checked the actual area sandbox ones that they're called I've obviously checked like tribal one tribal two and all of that but not the actual sandboxes so I'm going to check them before I go and test out these units if I can't find any in those then we're just going to test out these different units because I'm loving the fact that they've got a giant samurai so I'll check those if I can't find them then we'll just have to use these ones Okay guys, so I've been looking around the dynasty map again because I got confused with where the water was coming from if it's flying off both sides. But that's not the point. We actually found another weapon. So we have a new unit. So if we press F from the start and we fly to the top of this little temple thing, it's very hard to see, but it is right on where those two lines are. So... Let's pick it up and see what we get this time. Sensei. Okay. He looks just like the ninja, but we'll find out what he does when we test him out. But the other thing is, that means there are multiple ones on each level. So, we're going to have to keep looking around and see what we get. I'm going to have to go back and check all the other levels. So let's see how many they've actually put in. And we're going to have to check them all. Because this is the fourth one now. So let's carry on looking. Okay guys, so I've actually found a third one on the Dynasty map. So that's three on one map now. So I'm definitely going to have to go back and check the other ones. But from spawn, you fly behind this little temple thing. And we come down here on this corner. And if we go in, we can see a sword just there. So let's pick it up. Shogun. See, now these seem like ones that should just be in the Dynasty units anyway, but obviously they are special ones, so maybe he has more health. Maybe, I don't know, he could be something special. So I'm going to have to check through all the other maps and see if there's any more. So we are now in Tribal 1, and I have found another one. So they have put a lot of them into this game, all these new units. So from spawn, you want to press F, fly pretty much straight forward, over to the other side. It takes a while to get there. And this is why it took me so long to find it, and we missed it so many times, is because it actually just looks like one of the bushes. But it's not. It's actually this bit. You can see it just shakes slightly. So let's pick that one up and see what we get. cheerleader okay well that's going to be an interesting unit i don't really know what they're supposed to do like i'm interested to find out do they attack with those or do they just like spur on your team so that'll be an interesting one to test but we're going to keep looking to see if there's any more so let's carry on looking okay so we are now in medieval one where we've actually found one in a previous video so I didn't think that they'd put one back in here, but they have. And this is another one that is really hard to find because it fits in perfectly with the map. So from spawn, press F, and then we want to fly down here. And you'll see exactly why it was so hard to find. It's because it's this tree, which, I mean, if I didn't fly right past everything and it took me forever to find it, I'd never have found that. If I was just looking for weapons. So I'm lucky that it actually glows. So let's grab that and see what we get. Tree giant. Okay so they've put in another giant. That's interesting. That's very interesting. And I'm also interested to find out. How many they've actually put in. Because we're just finding so many. It's taken me a long time. But we are finding them. So I'm going to keep looking and hope that there's more. And we have found another one. And this time it's in Ancient Sandbox. So they have put them in the sandbox levels as well. Which I didn't know if they would do or not. But they have. So from spawn you want to press F. And once again we fly down into this little corner. And if we come down. It's very hard to see. But it's that fan. So let's pick it up. 
And we have a fan bearer, which I actually thought we'd get because obviously it's a fan. So that completely makes sense. But that's another one that'll be interesting to see how they work. But let's keep looking for more. Okay, so we are now in Viking 1. And we found another one. So if we press F from start, and then we want to fly down here into this little corner. And this is another one that's really hard to see because it blends in so well. But it is just this little head down here. So let's grab it and see what's, what this one is. Ice giant. So what's that? We've got three giants now. So they've, they're putting in quite a few different ones. And that looks like the abominable snowman that I saw in the loading screen. So we're definitely going to have to test all of these out. But we're going to keep looking to see if there's more. And if there's not, we'll test them out. Okay, guys. So we have come into Ancient 2. Because I quite like this area. And it's a nice one to test them in. We haven't found any more, unfortunately. But that is nine new units that they have now put in. So, I guess now we put them to the test. So if we go through the list, we'll start at the very beginning. And we'll test them out. So what have we got first? We have got the Fan Bearer. That is the cheapest unit out of all the secret ones at 200 gold. So I guess we have to test what they do. So let's put in a clubber and see what happens. Let's go. Okay. So it seems like he's just blowing him away. Oh, he does attack as well though. Okay, so they do actually attack. I didn't really know if they could use that as a weapon or not once he started blowing that, but he does. So what we're going to do, we're going to put in more and see just how powerful that wind that he's waving about is. So let's put in 20. Yeah, let's go for 20. And we'll go with the clubbers again. And let's just put in 10. So 10 clubbers, 20 fan bearers, just to see what actually happens. Whoa! Okay, so if they work together, they're actually quite strong and they just keep blowing them around. That's interesting. So, obviously on this map, it's not. I don't think it's really going to do much. Oh no, that, they are attacking, so they are dying from the wind. So the wind does kill them. I thought it would just be to push them off the edge. But even just the wind does actually kill them. So that's very interesting. Now, they don't seem that strong. So I don't think they're going to be able to do much. But we're going to test them against a Mammoth as our final one for testing with those. And then we'll move on to the next one because there's quite a few to get through. And I don't want to take up a whole video with just boring little units like that when we've got some Giants to test out. So let's just put them up against the Mammoth and see what happens against the Mammoth. Okay, they cannot do anything against the Mammoth. The Mammoth just walks straight through them. That's a shame. It would have been fun to see the Mammoth get blown around. But it still works. I'm wondering whether they can actually kill the Mammoth or if the Mammoth will kill them. I'm trying to stay with them. I tried to do the best camera work I can with it. And the Mammoth won, so they can't take out the Mammoth. But that was still an interesting test because obviously with the Clubbers, they just blew them around. But let's move on to the next unit. So the next one is the Teacher. Now, this is one where I can imagine it being quite boring. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put teacher versus teacher and see what happens. Let's go. Okay, so they're not attacking. Oh, there we go. So, they don't seem to attack that fast. And they don't have any armor. They don't do anything special. So, that's quite a boring unit, really. So, we're not going to spend any more time testing him because there's just no point. So let's move on because I did not like him. And the next one is the cheerleader. So this is one where we want to see whether they actually attack or whether they just spur on a team. So we'll go up against a clubber and see what happens. Okay, nothing. He did absolutely nothing. So what if I put in a cheerleader and a teacher? Let's go. Okay, so when there's another unit, they do seem to start dancing. So obviously that does do something for them. And by the looks of it, the teacher actually started attacking faster. 
But there's only really one way to tell that. We're going to put in a teacher on the other side without a cheerleader and see what happens with that. Because I think he actually attacks faster with that or not. Well, he did attack before that one even tried to. So that's interesting, but I still don't really like the cheerleader. That's another very boring unit, so we're just going to get rid of them. And the next one is the Wheelbarrow Dragon. So, as we've seen, the dragon breathes fire. We know the Wheelbarrow pushes him around. So I'm assuming it's just going to be pushing around a fire-breathing dragon. So that'll be interesting. So let's just put down a clubber, because we like testing out the small units against clubbers. We'll see what happens. Okay, so he does breathe fire, and he killed that one quite quickly. But, as you can see, he does seem like he's about to flip. So I guess the next test we have to do with them is Wheelbarrow versus Wheelbarrow. So we'll put in one of the old Wheelbarrows and we'll see what happens there. So let's go. Okay, that's a front flip and he's fallen off. And I think the dragon died. So if he lets go of the dragon, the dragon just seems to die. And then he's just stuck on his own running around in circles. So quite disappointing really. That's, I suppose it could be quite fun if we put in quite a few, but if he flips over, then we're done. So, let's just put in a line of them. Oh, let's just put in 10, and then we'll just put in a big group of clubbers. We'll just try and keep them grouped together. And let's do 60, and we'll see how that goes. Oh, I deleted two. There we go. So, let's watch this happen then. So they do seem to do quite a bit of damage then. Because they are all getting blown across. Okay, so if you put loads of them in, they could be quite devastating on tight-knit groups. But I don't think they would do that well. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. That's what I wanted to do, is clear them. I don't think they'd do that well if, say, we spread them out. So we're going to put in 60, but spread out a little bit more. And see what happens there. So now they've started running around and got confused. They've actually dropped all of their dragons. So that was quite disappointing really. And I don't know if they're going to win now. Because of that. So powerful against tight knit groups. But if they're spread out then they're pretty much useless. And he's about to die I think. Wait have we got one still alive? Oh I think this... Yeah, that one was still alive. He just couldn't get up. So, yeah, once again, not a really interesting unit. It could be quite fun, I suppose, if you group loads of them together. But we're not going to keep testing that one out. And we're going to move on to the Shogun. So, let's have a little look at him. So, he seems alright. We don't know what he's going to actually be like. But because he's, we're getting into the expensive ones now... We're going to put them up against some slightly stronger units. So let's put him up against the knight and see what happens up against him. Whoa, okay. So he actually moves really fast. And he attacks very fast as well. Okay. So that's quite interesting. Let's see up against the king then. Because obviously the king's got a lot more health. He attacks slower. But I wonder whether he can actually hit him enough times to kill him before the king can get off a powerful hit. So the king's hit once, but we've hit four, five times, maybe six now, seven. So he can easily take down a king. Now, we don't know what his health is like, though. So to test that, obviously, we're going to use Artemis because we know that the king takes two or three shots from Artemis. So it's a good way to test how much health these big ones actually have. Now, I know that in the update, they actually reduced down the amount of arrows fired by Artemis. And the spread is a lot wider. That's why quite a few are missing. So, we're not really too sure how many fires that was. But, obviously, Artemis can kill the Shogun. So, we're not going to do any more testing with him. Because we're really looking forward to getting to the Giants. So, now we are into the second lot of them and where did we go up to that's the wheelbarrow dragon that's the shogun so now we've got the we're going to skip the samurai giant because i want to save the giants till the end so next up is the sensei who just looks like a ninja 
with some spikes on his arms. But we'll see what he does, because what I'm thinking is that he's basically just going to be the ninja, but just throw them a lot faster. So, let's put in some nice cannon fodder. And we'll just... What do you reckon? 50? Let's put in 50. Let's see if he can take down 50 clubbers. Go. Okay, he throws them a lot faster. And quite a wide spread as well. Let's let it go and watch how fast he can throw. Can he kill 50 clubbers before one of them gets a hit on him? By the looks of it, yes he can. Okay, he's actually pretty cool. We're finally getting into some good units now. So, I suppose now we have to test him out against some other units. So maybe a mammoth. Can he kill the mammoth? Whoa, his attacks are actually stopping the mammoth from being able to walk forward. Okay. Well, that's interesting. He can actually stop the powerful units from moving up on him. But it did still take quite a few hits. Now, I'm trying to think of a different unit that might be a bit fun to use. I think we've got to make him fly. I want to fly in, Sensei. Let's put in... We'll just put in... 20. There we go. 20 firework archers just to make him fly. Although he starts attacking. He's still attacking even like that. He has got some good accuracy. While spinning around like that, he was still able to hit all of them. So, that was the Sensei. And all that's left now are the Giants. So, let's test out the samurai giant we are going to put in if we can fit them i don't know if we're going to be able to fit them i'm hoping to get a hundred giant samurai versus a well may maybe more than a hundred mammoths so there is a hundred giant samurai and that is lagging so much already and you've actually got some of them standing on the shoulders of giants that's awesome and I think it's going to lag too much. But we're going to put in the mammoths anyway. I don't think we're actually going to fit a hundred in. No, we're not. So we may have to reduce the samurais down. Let's see how many we can fit in with the mammoths on this area. I don't really want to have to go to simulation because it looks a bit boring. But I think we may need to. Right, let's go for 35 mammoths for now. And let's reduce the Samurais down to 35 as well. Come on. One more. And of course I've deleted too many. That's annoying. Let's put in two more. 35 versus 35. Go. Let's, let's go down a bit. Whoa. They have such... Whoa. See you later, Mammoths. Look at them. That is some powerful attack if they can make a mammoth fly. I mean, we tested out the firework rockets making a mammoth fly and it didn't work. They just got thrown out of the map. That is crazy. Look at them go. That is absolutely insane. I don't even know who's alive anymore. I think there's just the one left. I think it's just him. It is. So, the samurai's obviously won. But... I was not expecting some of them to go flying. That was awesome. Okay, so the Samurai Giant is actually really cool. I love the Samurai Giant. He's awesome. So, let's find out about the Tree Giant then. Okay, it, he's quite cool as well. He looks really awesome. I do like the way that they've made them look. Like, Obviously, the style of the game, it looks quite cartoony, which it's obviously supposed to. But it is very nice to look at. So... What do we put a tree giant up against? Let's put him up against the samurai giant. Fight. Oh, that is a good hit. I like that. He's absolutely smacking him to the ground each time. Oh, wow. What a hit. Okay. He may be my new favourite. These are just getting better and better and better. 
this is amazing. This really is. I mean, we're not really going to top that fight. So, I mean, we've seen how good he is. I suppose we have to see how good he is against smaller units. So, let's just put in 50 clubbers. And we'll see what he can do against those. Just to test him out, finally. So, he does slam down. Wow! He's actually really fast at attacking as well. I think that's what makes him so good. Is he is really fast. Whoa. Okay, who's still alive? Uh, no one. He is amazing. He's awesome. Okay, so let's get rid of him. And now, let's move on to the most expensive one. 6,000 gold. Ice Giant. Let's get a better look at him. He's too big to really look at. His arms are huge. That is amazing. He's gigantic. Okay. So, let's do what we did before. Let's put him up against the one down from him. We won't use Artemis because she's a bit too overpowered with how far she shoots. So, we'll stick with the Giants. And let's go. Okay. He can't even knock him down. He just does not fall over. Whoa. Okay. I mean, he is huge. I think he may be the biggest overpowered unit I've ever seen. Wow. Okay. Can he take down a mammoth? It's always got to be a test against the mammoths. So let's go for it. Oh, okay. He attacks very fast as well. And the mammoth is dead. Okay. All I can say is okay to that, really. Now, obviously, we have to test. Can he fly? I don't think he's going to because he just couldn't be moved by the tree giant. So I can't imagine him flying. But, of course, we're going to test it out and we're going to put in... So I'm thinking go up to 150 because I think the explosion will kill him. So let's do 150 and go. And we've got some lag and some of the missed, but we have a flying giant. Yep, the explosion killed him, but we had a flying giant and he was being pushed back through the air. So that was awesome. So now I guess we go over into simulation mode. And then that way we can test out the giants in massive battles. So let's go over to simulation. The one that I wanted to wait for for the end was the Samurai Giant. Because that I, I think that's still my favourite one is the Samurai Giant. But we are going to test out the other giants in huge battles. So let's do the Tree Giant. I do like the Tree Giant. He is cool. And why are they all falling over? Can you... Okay. Let's spread them out a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Now, I don't really know how many to do. I wanted to do... Oh, let's just do them all together and they can all fall over. I want to do 100 versus 100. I think that's what we have to do. Oh, too many. And that is now lagging quite a bit. He's obviously quite a laggy character because he's got the tree. And why have we now got one falling? He obviously got thrown up into the air. But that's fine. So, we're going to do them versus 100 mammoths if we can. Hopefully it won't lag out too much. But that's what we're going to do. Takes quite a long time to move, which is a shame, but... I mean, we're almost there. Well, that's annoying that I'm 10 off, but that's fine. We'll just put them down the bottom here. There we go. So that is 100 tree giants versus 100 mammoths. Let's go. Okay, I think I broke... Okay, we're going to have to clear them. I broke the game. It wouldn't even start with that much lag. So we can't do 100 of the tree giants. So that's a bit of a shame, but it's fine because what we could do is we could try doing a miniature battle. So we'll do 20 versus 20 and we'll just have to do that. That is a shame. But it's understandable. So let's just put in 20 and go. There we go. And we haven't got the lag either this time. But look at them fly. Look how much they fly across. Okay, because of how much they're flying just from these guys, I've changed my mind. 
I've actually changed my mind. What we're going to do, as soon as we won that quite easily, so let's just go down to 50, and then we'll do, if I can find him, 50 ice giants. Uh, we'll just go off the bottom there. That's not too bad. So, 50 ice giants, 50 mammoths. Let's go. Let's slow it down so I can get into position first. And then we can watch. Here we go. They're about to make contact. Okay, so they're not actually making the mammoth fly as much as the other ones do. That's a bit disappointing. And they don't seem to really be killing them as fast. Okay, maybe the ice giant isn't the best one. Oh, there we go. We finally got one flying. And I think we've got one or two left. Just the one left, I think. But they're still taking a while to kill it. There we go. So, that was pretty cool. That was actually really good. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to the samurai giant. Versus the Mammoth, 100 v 100. Let's do it. Let's put in just, if I can, a line of 100 would be nice. Oh, do, did too many again. So that is 100 Giant Samurai. Up against, and this is going to lag so bad now. I mean, these will have to obviously be a bit longer, this line. So I might have to do some behind. Yeah, we can only get 31 in that. So I'll tell you what, let's um, let's go to 34 and then I could do 33 obviously on the next two lines. And that'll be perfect then. So let's put these in. Okay, we went a bit too many there, but that's fine. No, that would be right, wouldn't it? Yeah, of course it would. That is right. Me with my maths again, messing it up. I've got to make sure I don't go too close, otherwise it won't place them down. But we're almost there for 100. And it's not lagging that much, so hopefully it'll be okay. And now it's lagging. <laughs> okay, that started to lag very quickly. Let's see if we can get them all in. Whoa! They did not throw them. I'm so torn on my favourite unit now. Because this is just insane they are so strong that is crazy i am absolutely loving the giant samurai i mean the wheelbarrow dragon was a boring unit the teacher even worse but this makes up for those two absolutely makes up for it these are awesome and they have absolutely annihilated the mammoths absolutely torn them apart through some of them miles I mean that was just awesome did they actually make one of them poo themselves or is that one seeping into the ground it might be one seeping into the ground but it doesn't look like one of them has just pooed himself but that's pretty cool so yeah I hope you guys like the video if you have the game definitely go find these units and use them because he is awesome and it's just incredible so like the video subscribe to my channel Hit the notification bell so you can see when my videos are uploaded. Peace out.